Hey guys, in this video we're going to be installing the uh, Gelid Icy Vision uh, VGA cooler onto my uh, Vision Tech HD 4870. I have my installation uh, instructions out as well as the card and the cooler. We're going to start uh, removing the uh, screws to take the stock cooler off and then we'll start mounting on the uh, the new cooler with the uh, new heat sinks and stuff for the RAM. Okay, just for a uh, comparison, uh, with the machine sitting idle, we have the uh, fan set at 40%. Uh, temperature on the card is about 49 degrees Celsius doing nothing. So we're going to uh, run some benchmarks on it and uh, see how warm it gets. Okay, running benchmarks on it. Uh, we're uh, running about 89% and around 90% uh, activity on the card. Uh, we're seeing temperatures from 56 degrees to roughly 60 degrees. Okay, here's a shot of it uh, on 100% uh, fan at idle. Uh, temperature on the card is 43 degrees Celsius. And I don't know if you can pick up just how loud that is. But it's extremely loud at 100% uh, fan. So we're going to pull the card out and uh, put our icy vision cooler on there and uh, see what kind of temperatures we get. Okay, we've removed all the screws from the uh, back of the video card itself, so we should be able to uh, pop the stock cooler off now. Okay, with the uh, fan removed, you want to make sure you clean up your card, get rid of all the old thermal compound, any uh, residues that's left on it before we start putting the heat sinks on. Okay, we have the card itself uh, cleaned up. Now we're just going to uh, find the different heat sinks that we need for this CPU or for this uh, video card, and we're going to start attaching them. Okay, moving on, we have all of our heat sinks attached to the video card itself, and we just uh, attach the mounting bracket onto the cooler itself. So we're ready to set it on the card. Okay, we're just going to uh, mount the card itself. Um, we're going to try a couple of different tests here. First, we're going to try the GC2 uh, thermal paste that they include with the cooler itself. And also, Gelid was kind enough to send us a package of their GC Extreme uh, thermal paste. I think that's a, a new product for them. Um, so we're going to try it with the stock stuff first that comes with it see what kind of temperatures we get and then we're going to take the cooler back off and switch over to the uh, GC Extreme and see what difference it makes. Okay, we have the card installed with the uh, Icy Vision cooler on there. Uh, same uh, fan speed, 40% as we were running on the stock cooler. You can see the temperature is 36 degrees. It's uh, 12 degrees cooler idling than the uh, stock cooler was on there. Okay, we're running the Lightmarks 2008 uh, video benchmark on it. Uh, as you can see, the temperature has only came up to 43 degrees uh, with a fan load, or the uh, VGA load, of close to 90%. So an extreme difference over the uh, stock cooler. I couldn't even get these temperatures uh, at idle, let alone uh, running benchmarks at it. Uh, you can see there it peaked at 94% on the uh, VGA activity and our temperature is still at 44, so very impressive. Uh, we're going to pull the card out and try the new thermal compound on it and see what kind of results we get from that. I just wanted to show the uh, benchmark results. Uh, when we ran this benchmark before with the stock cooler, uh, the best I could do was 413 uh, for average frames per second and the uh, frames per second jumped up to 419.6 so we gained an average or uh, about six frames uh, per second average just from keeping the uh, video card cooler okay we've removed the cooler again now we're going to clean off all of our thermal compound 
and we're going to try uh, putting the cooler back together with some of the Gelid GC Extreme uh, thermal compound. We're going to see if this uh, makes a difference. Okay, now we have it running with the uh, new thermal compound on there. If you can see, the uh, temperature is now about 33, 34 degrees. So we've dropped uh, 2 to 3 degrees at idle just by changing the thermal compound. So we're going to run the benchmark on it again and see what the uh, temperatures max out at. Okay, we're running the benchmark right now. As you can see, the uh, activity is about 88%. Our temperatures have been uh, around 39 to 40 degrees. Just amazing for all uh, benchmarking. Uh, that's just uh, so much better than the stock cooler was doing, not to mention how quiet it is. Uh, you see it dropped down to 39 again with 89% activity. So it's an amazing product. Uh, very happy with it. want to thank Jellid for sending this to us to uh, do some reviewing on and benchmarking on. But that's going to conclude it for this uh, benchmark video. Thank you for watching.